We're very happy here today to offer our very strong, some might say strongest, I would say strongest, presidential and still presidential, by the way, endorsement for Australia, presidential minister of prime Amazon, Amazon prime minister, you know, which we don't normally like Amazon prime because of Bezos, but for I call him ScoMo, not Cuomo, by the way, not one of our radical left governors, failed former governors in America, but we call him ScoMo. I am strongly endorsing Amazon Prime President ScoMo for another term as Australia King. And he has been such a great, He's. it's almost like I have like a brother in Australia, not a black, like not an African American, but a brother like a, you know, like my mother had another person that's related to me is almost like a brother I have in Australia and we, we, he's so many so many accomplishments and so much it's almost like you know he calls me on the phone sometimes and he says g'day mate sir he calls me mate sir and he says thank you for inspiring me mate sir and I said no problem scummo you're doing a hell of a job we strongly endorse you but I was just looking through his record because we had we have so much intel on scummo and Scott Morrison, which is also what people sometimes call him, this guy is, I mean, one of the great leaders I've ever seen. You know, obviously, we got to talk about his past because you become great in the present and the future by having a strong past. It's called past because it's not now. And he was, he worked in tourism, okay, which is how you learn about diplomacy and things like that. And he had a a phrase, a catchphrase, which I loved. He had said, where the, where the, use the, excuse me, use the phrase bloody hell, which I love. I love that phrase. It's what the Democrats want because they're not pro-life. So they want to go to bloody hell. And then they said to Skoma, they said, you can't do that, mate. That's not politically correct. A lot of countries won't run that ad because they're too PC and too woke. So because of the woke left in many countries, they fired him. They fired, they did it. They fired ScoMo. And that's okay because he had bigger and better things to do than worry about woke countries who don't like the term bloody hell, which is, by the way, where the woke left is going to bloody hell. Not just hell. Bloody hell is even worse than hell. It's got a lot of blood. But in his first, oppo his first opponent in a race, he actually sort of stole... A little move from me. He accused him of being a secret Muslim criminal brothel owner. And what I liked about that is obviously I called Obama. We all know he's a secret Muslim. Not so secret. We found that. But ScoMo took it and did like a like an extra. He called him a, a, a Muslim brothel owner, a secret Muslim. And I mean, that's, you know, I was sort of proud. I said, wow, you know, I didn't think you could improve on my strong Muslim insults, but he did it. And that's when I knew we were dealing with somebody with a lot of talent, a lot of talent. He loves beautiful coal. He loves ScoMo. We might as well call him ScoMo because he loves coal so much. He brought it and coal is so clean and so beautiful. We love it so much here in America. Not the woke left, but the strong energy right. We love coal. And he, he brought in coal into whatever you call it. Is it parliament? Is it People, he brought it into the people house with all the yelling. Well, that's Britain, but may, I don't know how you do it in Australia. Who the hell knows? But he brought it and he said, this is a call. There's nothing to be afraid of. And that's strong courage. We call it courage. We call him scourge mo. You know, you put the instead of scum mo, scourge mo, which almost sounds Native American, but not like Pocahontas Warren. And he bought so much coal for Ukraine. Okay. And now they're making fun of them because they can't deliver it because Russia's stopping them. Russia's strong. They are strong. You got to look out for Russia. But he was doing something nice. He bought a lot of nasty, beautiful coal for Ukraine. And Russia stops them and they make fun of them. You know? And it's it's so sad to see them destroy such a nice leader like, like ScoMo. But... Also, what I like is that when you had the fires in Australia, remember when you had the fires in Australia? Those, it wants to, you don't want to be near fire. 
Oh, so he left the country during the fires. Well, what the hell do you want him to do? Walk into the fire? Get burned? I don't think so. So he went to America. He went to Hawaii, which, you know, is Obama's state, allegedly, which we know he's actually born in Africa. But he pretends to be from Hawaii because nobody knows anything about Hawaii. But ScoMo went there. He supported. He put strong tourist dollars into America while Australia burned. And I thank him for that, I think. And that's when I knew I was going to strongly endorse him. Uh, you know, we had a little thing with the COVID, which I did so well with. And they make fun of ScoMo because they say, oh, you got vaccines late. Now, you should thank him. Because because of him, you probably got more, nat it's called natural immunity, okay? So who needs vaccines when you're getting strong natural immunity? So you should say thank you, Australian people, to your, to your ScoMo. And a story that actually I didn't like was, I like that he lied to France, that he, he agreed to buy subs, not like Subway sandwiches, but like big, big subs, like Navy big you know, the ships that go underwater. You ever heard of these things? Well, that's what he was. And then he bought them from us instead. And he said, bye-bye, France. And now he has to pay France because they're very offended. They're very weak and they get very offended in France. It's a very sad, weak, offended country. And I just wish he had done it when I was president. But he did it with Sleepy Joe. Yeah, he might. he's very busy. He might have forgotten that, all right, Trump's not the strong president anymore. I shouldn't have done this deal. But he did it. He did it, and it still benefited America and not France, so we respect it. And also, I love the fact that he, ScoMo, my great friend ScoMo, he promised a, what was it, like some commission against corruption, okay? CAC, CAC, we call it a CAC, CAC, no, Mike, CAC, not CAC, Mike Pence, everybody, he's, he thought I said CAC, very excited Christian, uh, and then he just didn't do it. He said it would be a kangaroo court, which is very important in because when you're doing corruption, you want to have a human court. OK, but in Australia, you know, the kangaroos have their own court because they're, you know, and the koala bears will want their own court soon, too. But you don't want to mix up. If you have a kangaroo court, how are you going to fight corruption when it's like kangaroos walking around the court? They have other things. They want to worry about their pouches and their you know boxing matches. They don't want to do corruption court. So it was very smart of him not to do a kangaroo court, okay? Because if you're going to fight corruption, it's a very smart decision. And any Australian who doesn't think so is, quite frankly, even dumber than sleepy Joe Biden. Uh, he was very nasty to refugees, which I respect, okay? He put them on, what is it called, Nauru? Nauru? Who the hell knows? But he, not coming here is what they should call the island because he treated those refugees almost, almost worse than I would treat them. And that's saying something. So, you know, he's tough. You know, if you're going to run a country, you can't be nice. You can't have a heart. You just want to be tough and nasty to the weakest people possible. That's that's called strong Trump presidenting. So Australian, he's, he, he's as tough as an Amazon prime minister that you can get. OK, so we respect that a lot. And also because I was talking about my great Christian vice president, Mike Pence. What I like is that. He claimed, ScoMo said he never knew, what was his name? Brian Houston. So we like him because his last name is Houston, which is, of course, one of our great cities in the biggest Trump state of Texas. And he said he didn't know Hillsong, which is this like, I love Hillsong, which I think started in Australia because it's like a nice, it's a celebrity Christian church. Okay. Too often I'm forced to like walk into these churches in America where there's no celebrities. They're just weird people screaming about God and Jesus. But I like the fact that Houston started a beautiful celebrity church where you can meet beautiful women and have parties and strong sex with celebrity women and improve your career and also say thank you, God, while you're doing it. So we respect his song. And then they, they got in ScoMo's face. They said, oh, did you go? There? And he was there. He was, you know, he said, no, I, I don't know these people. I don't know his song. But then he was at an event in 2019 with the guy from Hillsong. And that is so Trump. And I, I respect ScoMo so much. You're caught on tape. You remember I had the Access Hollywood tape? You're caught on tape. They see you with Houston at a Hillsong event, probably going to have strong celebrity sex with some strong Christians. And you just say no. And then the, the, the radical left media, they don't know what to do. They go, but he's on tape, sir. He's on tape, sir, mate. 
And you go, well, what are you going to do about it? So total respect for ScoMo lying in the face of clear evidence. It's a beautiful thing. And, you know, just two stories I remember because it, there's, you know, the deputy Amazon Prime person, uh, Barnaby, what a name, Barnaby Joyce. I got to say, ScoMo, I endorse you strongly, but you're lucky you're not right. If Barnaby, Barnaby Joyce is pretty much, if there's anybody more Trump than ScoMo, it's Barnaby. I almost want to call him Barnaby Trump. I mean, he's cheating. He's getting people pregnant. He's groping. They had to pass like a, you know, like whatever you call it, boinking or humping or whatever you call it in Australia. When you're, when you're having strong sex with people you shouldn't have sex with. This guy's getting laws passed basically to stop him from being a super Trump. And I respect him so much. And it shows great judgment, ScoMo, that you have him as a high-ranking person in your Amazon Prime ministry of two-day shipping presidency. So we love that. And most importantly, I love the fact that when you went welding, you know, to support our great workers, you took off that visor. You know, that's safety is so radical left. They, you, you know, yes, you could have blinded yourself by not using the visor. But you know who's blind? You know who's not blind? Strong people. So if you'd gotten blinded, so what? You could take it. You're not a radical left weak person. So I endorse ScoMo. I endorse sort of Barnaby Joyce as well. And I endorse no visors when doing welding because safety is for the weak. So vote for ScoMo if you think safety is stupid and weak. And I endorse him very strongly as still president of the United States.